Good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, Monday, November the 8th, and we're thankful uh, for the great week that the Lord provided for us. And we're praying that the Lord will do a work again this week and that we would see uh, souls to come to know Christ as their Savior this week. So let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day and that we have another day just to serve you and please you with our lives. And I just pray that we would be a witness this week to others around us. And we pray that uh, you would do a work in our lives, that we would be uh, more focused on you. And I pray that you would bless this day in Jesus' name. Amen. So for today's devotion, we will be in Ezekiel chapter 6 and verse 8. And it says, Yet will I leave a remnant, that ye may have some that shall escape the sword among the nations when ye shall be scattered through the countries. And they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations, whither they shall be carried captives, because I am broken with their whorish heart, which hath departed from me, and with their eyes which go a whoring after their idols. And they shall loathe themselves for the evils which they have committed in all their abominations. And they shall know that I am the Lord, and that I have not said in vain that I would do this evil unto them. So once again, uh, we find another writer uh, during the Babylonian captivity. Um, Ezekiel was writing uh, during this time period, and uh, with reading through this, something that really spoke spoke out to me uh, was, was the part where it says, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Um, and when I'm thinking about this, I'm also reminded of a similar uh, verse in First Samuel chapter 17 and verse 46. And this is when uh, David uh, was facing Goliath. Um, and I remember someone asking the question, why did, you know, David uh, fight against Goliath? And I said uh, to take a stand for the Lord. And, and that's a good thing. We should all take a stand for the Lord. But the real reason behind it, we find in verse 46, and it says um, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. So what was the point of David taking a stand against Goliath? It was so that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And, you know, reading through the Old Testament, that's what Israel was for, was for all the world to know that there is a God. There is only one true God. And we find in Ezekiel that this phrase is written uh, 70 times uh, through this book. And it says, and they shall know that I am the Lord. And, you know, many times in our in our lives we ask, you know, is the Lord real to us? Has the Lord revealed himself to us? And I would say, yes, he has revealed himself to us in his word. And we can learn the truths that God has put for us in his word. Um, it says once again in verse 10, and they shall know, uh, that I am the Lord. So God has a purpose for everything in your life. Um, during this time period that Ezekiel is writing from, uh, he's telling the Israelites of the judgment, you know, that is to come, uh, from the Babylonians. Um, but God has a purpose through this all. And, you know, from starting off in verse eight, it says, Yet will I leave a remnant. So even with, uh, you know, the destructions from the Babylonians and all this evil and wickedness uh, going on, it actually says that uh, Israel was sinning worse than the nations that did not know the Lord. And we know that Israel, you know, had the law, uh, had prophets and had a righteous people living among them. So they knew how to live right and uh, how to serve and honor God with their lives, but they chose to do the opposite. Um, and many times we find ourselves doing the opposite of what God has told us to do. Um, you know, many times in devotions and reading the Bible uh, day by day, um, we just uh, read through it and just like check it off our checklist. But when going throughout our day, uh, we forget what we read. I remember talking to uh, one of the bus kids uh, yesterday um, they were talking about what should I do if I finish reading the Bible? 
And I said, well, you start again because each uh, time you learn something new. Um, and especially as you're growing older, you know, you learn something new uh, each time that you read through the Bible. And then I asked, because um, she was reading through Genesis, I asked, so what did you uh, learn this week? Um, and she couldn't really t give me an answer. And I, I feel like that's m many times myself and uh, other Christians as well. We just like read it. But as we're going out through our day, we forget uh, what we read. You know, the Bible says that we should uh, meditate upon his word, that we don't just uh, read it one time and forget about it through through our day. But when we read it, we're refreshed again of what we read, what we learn uh, from God's word. So as you go about your day, you should be remembering of what you read and what you learned from God's word. Because <clears throat> it's not going to do you any good if you don't uh, meditate upon God's word or memorize it or hide God's word in your heart. Um, and from reading from reading this passage, it also says that in verse 9 that the Lord was broken over the Israelites' sin. Um, and, you know, the Lord is broken over our sin as well. He wants us to come back to him. He wants us uh, to put set our hearts upon him, set our focus upon him, that we may serve the one true God, and that others, when they see us, that they will know that he is the one true God. And that was the purpose of all this captivity and uh, judgment against Israel. It was so that they would know that he is so that he is the Lord, the one true God of Israel. And you know, by by Israel turning back to God and by getting their focus where it should have been, then the other nations would know that there is only one true God. All these idols and uh, false gods are not true, and that there is only one true God. Um, and I would just like to encourage you today just to uh, set your focus um, on the one true God today, and that when you set your focus on God um, and start living for him, other people will see the difference that Christ has made in your life. Um, so let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for your word. I just pray that we would hide your word in our hearts, that we would uh, meditate upon it and uh, live out your word uh, day to day, that people may see Christ in our lives. And I pray that you would just uh, bless the remainder of this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you all for tuning in today. I pray that you have a great rest of your week.